Hey, it's George. Uh, this is going to be a uh, vinyl tag, punk vinyl tag, 2024. I kept saying 2023. 2024. Um, and uh, this is put on by uh, Stevie's Vinyl Knot. Um, I haven't seen many yet. I've watched um, his and uh, Joy Kim's uh, Midlife Crisis Rants. Uh, so hopefully I'm not showing anything anyone else has shown, but, you know, it happens. So yeah, 20 questions. Some of them I couldn't answer, so you're just going to have to go without an answer. Uh, the dirtiest record you bought in 2023. So this, from what I understand, this doesn't have to be a new release. and It's definitely not. It's um, The Kids, uh, their debut album from 1978. This is on Radiation Records. This is a nice reissue. It's got two bonus tracks. And um, there's some songs where the vocalist is um, Ludo, Ludo Maruman, Merriman, uh, and it just sounds like he's just ripping his, he's just ripping his throat out. It's, it's really, I mean, especially for this early in the punk, it's really, really raw, and uh, yeah, this is a great record. They, um, they came to Seattle a month ago, two months ago, and I, it, it was 21 and over, and it was just, you know, I was, I was kind of bummed out, but, you know, because they're old, and when are you going to get to see them again? They're, you know, um, anyway, uh, this is question two, a reissue from 2023, and that's um, Hubble Bubble. Uh, this is their debut album from 77. This is on a label called um, Belgian Waffle Records. Uh, this is, the cover's really nice, it sounds great, um, and uh, you get a bonus track, you get the first and second take of uh, Pogo Pogo, which is probably my favorite song off that uh, this album, including uh, New Promotion. They do some really weird stuff, they do a cover of um, Born a Woman, and a cover of I'm Not Like Everybody Else, uh, so yeah, this is a really great unique uh very very unique record hubble bubble um a comeback in 2023 and i'm gonna go with um stitches in my head by this is alan millman's song stitches in my head and i'm gonna kill somebody it's a punk rock christmas ep and um 77 on did i already say 77 77 on brits records and uh, he came out with, uh, this new, uh, four song, uh, CD. I think it's going to be on vinyl, hopefully. Uh, so yeah. Alan Millman sect. D-beat crust or punk and roll? I don't have any D-beat or crust. Um, so I'm going with something that I guess I would call punk and roll. He's definitely gone on to do punk and roll if you don't call it this punk and roll. And that's, uh... Testers, Testors, uh, a um, New York punk band. They played a lot at Max's Kansas City, fronted by Sonny Vincent, who definitely, if you don't call this punk and roll, went on to do a lot of punk and roll. And this is a 2LP of basically of everything they recorded and uh, some live stuff. So yeah, this is really, really great. It's almost like, I think I've said this before, it almost sounds like proto Husker Du, Husker Du. Um, proto them. Uh, so yeah, this is a really, really great 70s punk. They, they started in 76, uh, yeah, but their only single didn't come out until 80, which was, um, uh, Time is, uh, Together Backed with Time is Mine. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, Test Stores, Testers. Uh, a record from 84. Now this I have to cheat a little bit. Um, the albums I have from 80, the punk albums I have from 84, except for this record, I only have on CD. Um, I've slipped it on on CD. I have, uh, what's that Poison Idea? I think Pick Your King came out on 84. Um, so I'm going to show this. It's the music is from eighty one, but it was released in eighty four, and this is uh, the Gun Club Sex Beat. This is a, f I think this, 
originally was only released in France. Yeah, this is so this is a French pressing. It's a live album of them in 81. Uh, I think it's from several different shows. Uh, the quality goes up and down. Uh, but, I mean, this is just... The, this is, you know, the period of like 80 to 82 when the Gun Club were just on fire. Um, yeah, I think it's from three... Three different shows. So yeah, Gun Club. I love the Gun Club. Uh, a live record, which that could have counted as, but I'm going to go with The Mummies. Uh, live at the Pits. Uh, it's a split with Supercharge. Also live at the Pits. Great, great garage punk. Uh, this label cracks me up. It's a you know white label, and it says... Um, Instead of uh, promotional copy, demolition copy, which is pretty cool. Um, the mummy side is kind of just noise, which, you know, punky noise. And uh, the uh, B side is Supercharger, and they do a cover of uh, Boom, Boom, Boom. Uh, so, yeah, really cool 7 inch. And if you want to get some, you know, mummies is hard to find. This one only goes for like 10 bucks. Uh, it's certainly not their best, but. Better than spending between 30 and 150 on a mummy single. Um, a record that's vomit colored. And I'm going to go with this Cramps bootleg. It's kind of this real sickly looking green. Uh, I have other, I think uh, the Black Randy and the Metro Squad album I have is about this color. And uh, a couple other Cramps records I have, but... Uh, this is good. This is, it's like, it's like an outtakes and live anthology. Uh, I mean, it's not official. There's some live stuff. There's some stuff they recorded in different studios. Uh, it spans from 77 to 79. So all before uh, Songs the Lord Taught Us uh, goes up. Well, when did, when did, when did uh, that uh, comp that comp EP come out? I can't remember the name of that. Shoot, I think that came out seven. Anyway, Cramps, love the Cramps. Um, an album with a leather jacket, skull, or mohawk, and I'm gonna show the plugs electrify me. This is a bootleg reissue, and I don't know the dude's name, but he's wearing a leather jacket, and. Uh, yeah, this is a great album. Uh, 79, I want to say this came out. Um, California band. Uh, so yeah, the plugs electrify me. Uh, a cassette. I, I have a DIY cassette specifically. I have cassette cassettes. Um, but I don't have a DIY cassette. Um, a book. This is um, the Estrus book, um, great uh, Washington um, garage punk label, uh, mostly pictures, uh, but I mean, there's scans of album covers and posters, there's pictures from shows, there's, I mean, this label was just awesome. They had um, the mummies, the makers, um, I'm not a big fan of Mono Men, but Mono Men was on there. Uh, but yeah, this, I'm trying to find the Mummies page. I should have bookmarked it. Uh, but Art Chantry was kind of basically like the resident graphic designer for, um, Estrus. Come on, where is that? Oh, it's not a big deal. Anyway, the Estrus book. Really, really super nice quality book. Has one of these. So, yeah. Um, merch you got from a show. I went to Devo. And I got this kind of cool bag. This is an image that was used on the first um, Jocko Homo 7-inch. Uh, it was in the, the, the background of where they're standing. So, kind of cool. I wish it... It's like denim. I wish it... It kind of has this dumb strap. I wish it was a different material, uh, but I really like that graphic. So Devo, um, a song that people can relate to. 
And I'm going with um, Jack and the Rippers and uh, I Feel Like a Tram. Uh, Non-punk record with punk attitude. And I'm going to show um, Wanda Jackson. There's a party going on. This is, I think, her third album. And this is really, really great rockabilly. Um, Hard-headed woman. There's a party going on. Her cover of Kansas City. A tongue tie. This is has four bonus tracks. I think B-sides. Um, and this has um, Buck Owens on guitar. Buck Owens plays a guitar on this. So yeah, uh, Wanda Jackson. Oh, uh, where am I? 14. Um, most copies of a punk record. Some people are going to say, oh, this isn't punk. I think it's punk. If you don't think it's punk, that's fine. And that's um, Get Happy by Elvis Costello. This reissue, this 2LP reissue, a original white label promo from eight, 1980, just a standard A's US release, and then an 82 reissue that has a slightly different cover, or slightly different colors on the cover, and then I have it on CD, and I have it on 8-track. Um, all I need is uh, I need to get it on cassette, and I it was released on Reel to Reel, and... Um, I guess Edison Cylinder, I don't know. Uh, mini Disc, what other formats are there? Um, 15, uh, a president on the cover, president or leader. And I'm gonna show um, Killed by Death number seven. Uh, this has George Washington on the front. I had to think about that for a second. Uh, Dollar Bill, this is awesome. This has um, Fire Exit, Time Wall, it's a great song. Um, Back from Batan by The Maids. Uh, it has a song by Sperma. Uh, it has uh, Cola Freaks by The Lost Kids. They're Back Again by The Cigarettes. This is a really great uh, Killed by Issue of Issue? Issue of Killed by Death. Um, I think it's funny how it says uh, one out of 700. <laughs> it's just printed on the... Anyway, great, great punk comp. Um, half your age. I don't have anything for that. Um, most bands aren't half my age. Uh, releasing in 2024. Um, and that's Girl Trouble. I believe Girl Trouble will have, uh, I don't know if it's an EP or an album, uh, out in 2024. They haven't had an album since I think 2002, 2005. Something like that. This is their uh, reissue of their debut in 88. Great, great um, Pacific Northwest garage punk. So yeah, uh, Girl Trouble. Inspiring lyrics. Um, I had a hard time with this one. Uh, I kind of went the um, route, um, root, route, root, route, I don't know. Um, Joy Kim went with this, which is something that just kind of puts you in a good mood um and even though the song's kind of about a panic attack i'm gonna go with uh breakdown by the buzzcocks um this is when this is a reissue and it's when uh howard devoto was in the band i think this is i mean i like the albums but i think this is the best thing they put out i love that song breakdown um time's up is great and then boredom is awesome uh Friends of mine is okay. It's not bad. But uh, yeah, Buzzcocks. Um, favorite lyrics. And I'm going to go with um, Larry Wallace, Police Car. Uh, there's ooh, there's a lyric that I just think is really clever. And it's, uh, I got speed, I got power, I got a V8 heart. Which is just really funny to me. Um so yeah, Larry, this is on Stiff. It's a, a Belgian press. And it's backed with uh, On Parole, which was um, a Motorhead song. He was a founding member of Motorhead. So yeah, uh, Larry Wallace. 
And uh, finally, uh, something that sh a record that shows the current state of the, uh, the VC. And, uh, you know, in the VC, we're kind of, especially the punk side of the VC, it's kind of a little, uh, little corner uh, away from all the, the audiophiles and the people talking about jazz records. And so I'm going to go with um, We're Stranded on Our Own, uh, The Saints. So, yeah, that was... Uh, punk vinyl tag um thanks to tommy um and uh yeah thank you for watching